Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, The Wolf of Crypto here, bringing you guys another video today. And uh, today we're going to be looking at So Rare. Uh, it's a global fantasy football game that, yes, yes, it includes NFTs. Uh, I've been playing it on and off for the most part. Um, I do like the fact that I do get in email notifications letting me know that I need to go ahead and create a team to be prepared for these matches. Um, they have been adding a lot more uh, different cards, different teams to the platform. Uh, as you guys can see, this is pretty much a dashboard. Um, as you see, as you see right here, PSG is back. And some of their players are very, very expensive, but obviously, I mean, look who you're investing into. Um, I haven't spent too much uh, money in the game. Um, as you can see, La Liga has arrived, which is the biggest launch in Soul Rare history. All 20 teams are available, so that means you'll be able to go ahead and get these different players. Uh, but, of course, as you see the different shades when it comes to their cards, that's just basically telling you uh, the rarity of that particular card. Um, as you can see, the blue, uh, there's only what? one out of ten of these particular cards so that's why as you see the price is very high uh this black one here is uh it's, i think i haven't seen this one quite yet um this one's considered unique and then the red ones uh, which are pretty rare as you can see there's only a hundred of these cards and then the gold you know you got a thousand uh but let's go ahead i'll show you guys my club i mean i don't have like i said that many cards right now uh, that's the name of my squad we are venom fc you know just being silly um so these are different squads that you can have and make i have an under in 23 squad because there are different tournaments that you can enter to and all these different tournaments have different uh, requisites that you need to have um and then as far as cards that i have like i said don't have too many uh, as you can see we got the common limited a uh, rare, super rare, and unique. Uh, as you can see, my team is you know pretty much a bunch of common players, which you know I'm not I'm not tripping on too much. Um, I think this was like the only character I probably bought, if I'm not mistaken, on the auction. Uh, they do give you a lot of characters uh, when you first sign up on the game, and I'll leave my link down below in the description so you guys can sign on up. Um, as you see. These are different wars that you can detract. Um, and then, you know, once obviously you achieve all these different wars, you get these little credits uh, that can be used. Um, so we come on over to the play. This is basically where you're going to want to be able to participate in all these different tournaments with your teams. Um, now, you got to keep in mind uh, this week. So if I actually go right here. So right here, we're live. Uh, let's actually click on this so I can show you guys. Because my team is actually uh, already participating in this. It looks like I have two teams registered. Uh, so far, I'm trying to see. These are the top three people right now in this division. And this is the special training division. Um, that's a different division where you can basically take some of your players, uh, maybe the players that you're not uh, currently using, and basically put them into uh, training where they can basically get more XP and uh, level up that card. Now, if you come to the Star League Rookie, as you can see, this is the top three. And the point system is all based off of player performances. Uh, so if, you're, you know, if your player does well in real life, that just gonna, helps you get more points to be able to win these type of tournaments. And then it shows you all the different matches. So um, depending on what players you have for this particular league or team you'll be able to kind of get an idea of uh when they'll play uh, when you can expect the results and as you can see this particular little run ends on the 24th and if you come back over here so these are all the different divisions uh that you can play in like that's why i had that under 23 team because you see right here there's five divisions available for global under 23 basically means all the players that are going to be on your team can only be under 23. And then you got the Champions Europe. Uh, you got players that can come from these different leagues. Champion America, they have to come from those leagues and so forth and so forth. Um, but you're actually able to pretty much play 
uh, on a weekly basis. Because, uh, you know, if you guys follow soccer, I mean, soccer is being played pretty much every week, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you just got to basically kind of keep up as a manager and enter your team so you're able to get some rewards and points and stuff like that. Let's see. Let me go ahead for my team. So, yeah, this is a special training right here. Uh, you can send any of your unused players to the training ground to get, gain XP. Uh, let's see. I got a notification. Oh, yeah. So. So they just raised 680 million uh, in their Series B, uh, which is obviously great for the platform and great for the NFT space as well. Um, so again, these these guys are you know doing something. Uh, this is actually my first time running into a fancy, I guess, football type of platform, um, and it's kind of cool because you know normally if you are playing fantasy football. Uh, you don't really, I would say, earn money unless you kind of what put it in with pools with your friends. And so that's that's a little bit different compared to this, where if you are familiar with FIFA Ultimate Team, it's basically FIFA Ultimate Team on a blockchain, and everything's an NFT. So uh, these are the different rewards I've gotten for participating in those uh, tournaments. Obviously, I didn't get a lot of points, but come here. Claim reward. See that? Got me a new reward. It's got me a card right here. It's a common card. Cool. We'll add that to the collection. And it looks like I have one more reward. I'm trying to get that. Claim reward. And like I said, this is all from the league I participated in. Obviously, uh, you know, not the best position to finish in. Um, and this will show you, like, who gave me some points. Um, I mean, everybody gave me points, but it's just, you know, obviously not enough because <laughs> as you guys can see, I finished 2439th. Hey, no big deal. I'm still uh, working on everything, but come here, you click on other people, you kind of get an idea of what type of players they have and how many points you probably going to need. So these guys obviously got some really good players. Let's look at the top guy right here. Um, and even him, he has some pretty good players so yeah it really just comes down to doing your research doing your homework uh, figuring out what players you want to add to your squad obviously uh, you might have to you know put some money into the game to get particular players and particular cards uh, but for me right now I'm just kind of playing the game just seeing how it goes um, I'm not really uh, I guess all in on it right now uh, but that could always change um, so this right here is basically the marketplace this is which where you will come to uh, you know bid on different cards to add to your squads um, you are able to pay in ethereum so uh, if you're okay with paying those high gas fees by all means you can you know buy these cards in ethereum or you could buy them with a card uh if i'm not mistaken they also have a manager uh list as well um so these are also other cards that you can buy and like i said this all <clears throat> really comes down to what players you want um, and as you start to, you know, build up your squads, I mean, you can have, if I'm not mistaken, you can have like a, a lot of squads, uh, and you can participate in all those different, um, tournaments I was showing you guys. So, you know, it just kind of comes down on based on how much time you're going to put into the game and also how much money you might put into the game as well. Uh, because like, like I said, if you want some of those, you know, top cards, you're, you're going to have to spend, you know, a little a little chunk of change might not be a lot, but could be depending on the particular type of player, the card. Um, so all that stuff goes into play when it comes to that. But that's going to really wrap it up as far as so rare goes. Again, if you guys haven't had a chance to check them out, uh, you know, if you're a football fan, uh, I would say, you know, go ahead, see what, see if you could become a top manager and potentially, you know, win some big time prizes because if i'm not mistaken some of these prizes are pretty nice uh i'm trying to see if i can find you guys an example yeah so this is for the starter league rookie division one so this kind of gives you an idea of which type of rewards you'll be getting as you see if you're in the top three you'll get some type of uh, rare card and then for challenger europe you can get some money and a card uh so like i said every every tournament is different but like i said you are able to win some money and you'll be able to win some cards as well so 
Again, that's going to wrap it up as far as this so rare video goes. If you guys did enjoy the content, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Also, too, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell to be notified for future videos. And uh, until the next time, y'all, take care.